let's take a look at how easy it is to repair screen damage. The damaged area is drilled out and the repair bridge attached. The injector is inserted in contact with the screen. The ultraviolet resin is injected and runs part way into the damaged area. The plunger is inserted, forcing resin from the reservoir in the tip of the injector into the damage. When the plunger is unscrewed, a vacuum is created which sucks air out, allowing more resin to be forced in when the plunger is screwed down again. This procedure is repeated until the damaged area has been filled with resin and all the air has been drawn out. Pit fill resin is then applied, covered with a plastic patch and cured. The excess resin is removed with a razor blade. Using the latest Esprit equipment and repair techniques, windscreen repair is a simple five-step process in which the main skills required are patience and observation. It's important that the inside and outside of the screen are thoroughly cleaned with a dry cloth before using any repair materials. Windscreen cleaners must not be used because they could penetrate through the damaged area and attack the polyvinyl layer in the centre of the glass. The inspection mirror will enable the technician, who will be working mainly outside the vehicle, to see how the repair is progressing from the inside. The mirror should be fitted to the inside of the screen directly behind the damage. When using the drill, the 1mm blue burr should be selected. It's inserted into the chuck and tightened using the locking button. Eye protection should be worn during drilling and resin operations. The drill is switched on and set to a low speed. The burring operation will ensure that any dirt, grease or loose glass around the impact area are removed. The repair bridge will now be attached to the screen. The aluminium lever is raised and a coating of gel is smeared onto the sucker. The repair bridge should preferably be offered up to the screen with the leg positioned vertically, pointing either up or down. The body of the repair bridge is pressed down and the aluminium lever is lowered. The threaded hole must be directly over the centre point of the star break and the three feet must maintain contact with the screen. The resin pack is opened and the injector is screwed into the threaded hole in the repair bridge until the white seal makes firm contact with the screen. This is when the cutout at the top of the injector thread is level with the top of the aluminium collar. The two front feet on the injector holder will now have just lifted away from the glass. When viewed through the hole, the brake's impact point should be at the centre of the injector. The hands must be protected against accidental contact with the resin by using barrier cream, disposable gloves or both. Having fitted the needle to the syringe, the tamper-proof seal is removed from the resin container. The needle is inserted into the tip of the nozzle, turned upside down and 0.2 millimetres of resin is withdrawn. The resin is then inserted into the injector. The plunger is screwed slowly into the injector, pushing the resin to the edges of the damage until a slight resistance is felt. At the same time, the white seal, which should be viewed in the mirror, will begin to expand and the star break will start to disappear from the centre outwards. No more pressure should be applied to the plunger screw at this stage. The resin should now be left under pressure for three minutes in order to allow it time to penetrate the damage. After the three minute soak, the plunger should be unscrewed about 5 mm, causing a vacuum which sucks out any air. 
repairs should preferably be carried out in a workshop or somewhere out of direct sunlight to prevent premature curing of the resin. If repairs have to be carried out outdoors, then the Esprit UV shield should be placed over the injector assembly to prevent premature curing. After about 30 seconds, the plunger is tightened again, pushing even more resin into the brake in place of the air. The mirror is moved to one side and the inside of the windscreen is warmed with the Esprit heater. This operation must be performed with great care, as overheating will cause the cracks in the star brake to close up and prevent the resin from penetrating. The pressure is left on for a further three minutes, allowing the resin time to fill the damage. To check the progress of the repair, the injector arm is rotated out of the way so the repair can be inspected. The repair is progressing satisfactorily if, when viewed from the side, the cracks appear to vanish. From square on, they will remain visible until after curing. If the resin fails to penetrate to the ends of any of the cracks, under no circumstances should pressure be applied to the screen to speed up the process. If air remains in the brake, then the arm can be replaced and step three repeated, tightening the plunger, warming the glass and keeping pressure on for a further three minutes. To finish the repair, the arm is rotated to one side and any excess resin is wiped off. A drop of pit fill resin is applied to the remaining surface chip. Covered with UV plastic sheet and cured for five minutes with the UV lamp. In cold weather, the pit fill resin may need warming slightly prior to use. After curing, the plastic sheet is removed and a razor blade is used to shave off the excess resin until it's flush with the glass. To ensure a smooth finish, the blade must be held at right angles to the screen. A drop of Esprit pit fill polish is applied to the repaired area, which is polished with a very soft cloth or with polishing tissue until clear. The star brake is now repaired. <laughs>